एवरीवन दिस इज श्री वर लक्ष्मी माधुरी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न द टॉप मोस्ट पीवाईक्यूज दैट आस्क्ड इन द वेरियस कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जामिनेशन एंड द कांसेप्ट्स बिहाइंड दोस लाइक एसएससी सीजीएल आरआरबी एंड सैनिक स्कूल्स टॉप मोस्ट एग्जांपल्स आई एम ब्रिंगिंग टू यू इन दिस 150 टॉप मोस्ट पीवाईक्यूज वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न बट इन दिस पार्ट 1 You are going to learn the 15 concepts and 15 PYQs. The first PYQ is relevant to the successive fraction. The first one is if a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c equal to 15 by 4, then find a plus b plus c. Now you are going to find out the what is a b c. Which is an unknown to us. First of all, whatever they have given, just observe that that is a plus one by b plus one by c equal to fifteen by four. One thing you have to learn before learn the how to find out a b c. At first, observe the given fraction. What kind of fraction is the given one? Is 15 by 4 is a, a improper fraction how can we say a fraction is an improper fraction usually a fraction whose numerator is greater than the denominator or numerator is equal to denominator such kind of fractions are said to be called improper fraction now our given fraction is also a improper fraction every improper fraction can be written into a mixed fraction how can i convert improper fraction into mixed fraction simply do the division 15 is going to divide with 4 3 times you may get the 3 usually 3 is called a quotient Three is uh, called a remainder. This three is called remainder. This is called. You have to write it as Q R by D means three three by four. Three three by four. Express it three three by four. But what is the reason we need to express in terms of successive fraction? I express the given one in the form of a mixed fraction. Because every mixed fraction can be expressed as the the whole plus fraction. So a plus one by b plus one by c a equal to three. We got the a value. Now what is the rest of left over one by b plus one by c equal to three? You said that, ma'am. You said that if it is a, a improper fraction, we can find out into the mixed fraction and can get into a desirable form. Now, can can we write it into the desirable form? No. Reason is it is not a an improper fraction. It is a proper fraction. That is why I am going to. Find out its alternative. What is the meaning of alternative? Changing the numerator as denominator and denominator as numerator. So b plus one by c equal to four by three. That means, for example, two by three if there is equal to x y by x by y means. Just if you want to convert it is two by three is three by two and here you you did not convert this one means that is wrong. You have to find out reciprocal for both, uh, for the LHS as well as RHS. Now four by three again it is in the improper form. If it is in an improper form, you know that how to find out into the mixed fraction form. So b plus one by c equal to one one by three. B plus One by c equal to one plus one by. Now b is one, c 
C is 3. So B equal to 1 and C equal to 3. He is asking you to find out A plus B plus C which is 3 plus 1 plus 3 gives you 7. In this way we can find out. It is a very very important modern problem that is uh, there in the successive fraction. Here I am giving you one more problem which is given in the entrance examination of science school in the year 2012. That is A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C plus 1 by D equal to 35 by A. Then find A square plus B C plus D square. This is the Modal problem which you can try. Try this modal problem. You can understand this concept very easily and you will remember also by doing this modal problem. Let us move to the second concept. Now we are going to learn about the patterns. Usually what are the four fundamental operators you know. That means plus, minus, into division. These are the four fundamental operators or arithmetic operators. But some operators star, dot, dollar, these also are called the operator. But these operators have some special meaning. But these operators have the particular meaning. If A plus B is their meaning Sum of A and B. A minus B means B is going to be subtract from A. Here A into B means A and B the product we needed. A divided by B means A is divided by B. Nothing but B is being divided with A. These are the four fundamental operators. These you know them. For example in one particular situation or in one particular definition a star b is equal to a plus b minus root a b the given then what is the value of 5 star 3 this or maybe 15 star 30 this or maybe 6 star 24 this then if you want to find out this kind of pattern don't think that these are fixed like arithmetic operators like plus minus into division. These will be changeable based on their definition. That means uh, some other value they given that a star b is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Then are you thinking that now also the star means the same? No. Star means have a special meaning. Based on the problem it will be. Now let us see the first problem what is there. A star B is equal to A plus B minus root over A. In meaning A, 6 star 24 means he is thinking that 6 is A and B is a 24. A plus B. So 6 plus 24 minus 6 into 24. 6 plus 24 is 30 minus 6 24 is 144. Then 30 minus 144 can be written as it is 18. But it is the same as like this one it is not. That means you may understood about the special meanings of operators and actual fundamental arithmetic operators of the ENIA. These four have special meaning. But this kind of operators have based on the definition we have to do so. Let us do some problems based on star. Then we can move to the next problem. In one definition, A star B is equal to A by B plus A into B. Then they are asking you to find out the value of 20 star 4 star 2. If you observe the here, 4 star 2 is in the bracket, which means that 2 value first. 4 star 2 equal to 
what is a star b is a by b plus a into b then 4 star 2 is 4 by 2 plus 4 into 2 which gives you 2 plus 4 into 2 2 plus 4 into 2 but you remember we should not add first 2 plus 4 6 6 into 2 12 we should not write the reason is we should go for border mass rule that means then the addition multiplication to be done first 4 2 is 8 2 plus 8 which is the 10 12 is the wrong one so we should not add first border mass which means that we should give the preference first for multiplication than for addition. Is the problem completed? No. Answer is not 10. Because he said 20 star 4 star 2. But 20 star 4 star 2 value what you got? 10. Now go for applying the A star B definition again. A star B is equal to A by B plus A into B. So, 20 by 10 because A is 20 and B is 10 plus 20 into 10. By doing simplification you got 2 plus 20 tens are it is 200. Then 20, 200 plus 2 which is 202. In that way we can find out the answer. Like previously what we discussed, border mass. Means multiplication should give the priority first later addition. So you should not do 2, 2 plus 20, 22 into 10 should not do. You should multiply first 20 into 10 then you should add. The answer is 202 is the correct one. Then based on that one more important pattern problem is that this problem in the 2002 it was given in the RRB that one I am giving to you here is your practice problem A star B is equal to AB minus 3A plus 1 it is the definition you should find out the 5 star in the bracket 7 star 5 first find out the 7 star 5 value then apply star for the both let us move to the next problem now we are in the third important category of problem. Evaluate 1 by 2 into 3 plus 1 by 3 into 4 plus and so on. Up to 2020 terms we needed. Try to understand the first, first term. What is that? 1 by 2 into 3. What is the second term? 1 by 3 into 4. First term means 2 into 3. Means first, first term if you think that it is the one, 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2. Which the next, second term means you can write it as 2, 3 into 4 means one more. Can you say that what is the 10th term maybe? 11 into 12. That means at the first if you want to solve like this uh, additions or uh, like this pattern. If you want to solve like this pattern, you need to understand about what is going to be the last term. Without knowing the last term, you can't guess it. First of all, first term is 1 by 2 into 3. Second term is 1 by 3 into 4. Fourth term is maybe 1 by 5 into 6. 10th term may be 1 by 11 into 12. 100th term may be 1 by 101 into 102. So, yours is, uh, you need 2020. So, can you guess what the last term will be? 2021 into 2022. Okay. We guess the last term. But what is the use of just guessing the last term? Because these values are very more. 1 by 2 into 3. 1 by 3 into 4. Like that if you observe. LCM you cannot do. That is why. Whenever the denominators are the consecutive natural numbers. Not only a consecutive natural number. They are maybe consecutive numbers. Observe there. 
Difference between the two numbers, 2 and 3, how they are differing? 1. Is the numerator is 1? Yes. 3 and 4 differ by 1. Maybe 4 and 5 differ by 1. Maybe 2021 and 2022 differ by 1. Whenever the denominator's product is differ by the numerator, you can express in this way. That is, 1 by a into b can be written as 1 by a minus 1 by b. Whenever a minus b is a minus b is 1. Maybe here d by a into b. Here d means the difference between the two numbers. a minus b equal to some difference d. Then at that time you can write that 1 by a minus 1 by. What I am trying to say is you can split a fraction as a difference between two fractions whenever denominators are a consecutively natural number or integer whatever their difference is equal to numerator you can split that means you can split the 1 by 2 into 3 as 1 by first number minus 1 by second number plus going for the second fraction 3 into 4 in what way you will split it 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 plus and so on. How will you split here? 1 by first number. 2021 minus 1 by 2020. Clearly all the terms are being cancelled except the first and last one. What is the? Except the first and the last one. Then 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2022 is left out. For doing this, we can do cross multiplication to get the answer easily. 2022 minus 2 by 2 into 2022. Then 2020 by 2 into 2020. 1 time 1010. Again in 2 table 1011 and 505. So 505 by 505 by 1011 will be the simplified answer for the given one. Some more problems and some toughest problems are also there. Now I am discussing the toughest problem in this model. Then we will move to the, the what are the PYQs relevant to the SSC CGM in this model we are going to discuss. Evaluate 3 by 1 into 2 whole square plus 5 by 2 into 3 whole square plus 7 by 3 into 4 whole square and so on. 2011 by 1005 into 1006 whole square. In this model, this is the somehow toughest one. It is, in what manner you can think it is, first of all 3 by 1 into 2 means 2 square, you can write it as 4. Rather than writing like that, can I write it as 1 square into 2 square? Yes, I can write. Because we know that a into b whole power m can be written as a power m into b power m. So, plus 5 by 2 square into 3 square plus 7 by 3 square into 4 square. Plus and so on, 2011 by, here the last term also they will be given, 1005 into 1006 whole. Now, I told you that whenever they are consecutive number, you can split that fraction into difference of two fraction. But these are consecutive squares but not consecutive numbers. But observe that 1 square means 1, 1 square, 1, 2 square, 4. But 1 minus 4, nothing but 4 minus 1. The difference between them is how much? It's a 3. Is the difference between the two, two numbers which are in the product of denominator, is it equal to numerator? Yes. Now 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9. Difference between 4 and 9, it's a 5. 3 square and 4 square. 3 square means it is 9. 4 square means it is 16. 
So difference between them seven. So it is uh, matching to our rule. That is difference by a into b is equal to. There means maybe a minus b equal the difference d means. We know that we can split a one by a minus one by b. Then in what manner I can split this one? One by a. Don't confuse three by a. One by what is the first one? One square minus one by two square plus one by whatever the numerator is there. You have to write them in the form of one by first number minus one by second number. One by two square minus one by three square plus one by three square minus one by four square and so on. One by one thousand five square minus one thousand six whole square. As you know, this kind of difference between the terms always will cancel the first and all will cancel except the first and the last. What are the terms left over? One by one minus one by one thousand six whole square. So do cross multiplication. One thousand six square minus one by one thousand six square. You know that one thousand six square can be found out very easily. One thousand square, nothing but thousand square plus six square plus a twelve hundred twelve thousand. So it is thousand square is. You can write it as ten lakh plus thirty six. Plus twelve thousand will give you ten lakh twelve thousand thirty six minus one by ten lakh twelve thousand thirty six. Sometimes they will leave in the value like this only. Even though we want the numerator, that is what I am finding now. One zero one two zero three five by ten to ten lakh twelve thousand thirty five by. Ten lakh twelve thousand thirty six will be the finalized answer. One by six into seven plus one by seven into eight, and so all they have given. Then options also they have given to you. Those are options are zero point one six, B is one point six, C is sixteen, and D is zero point zero one six. If you observe carefully. You cannot find out the normal addition of the fraction here. Reason: one by thirty plus one by forty-two plus one by fifty-six plus. That means you can't find out the LCM. So, like, uh, go for the previous problem method. That is, are the denominators having any pattern? Yes, denominator consecutive to natural numbers. And the difference is one which is matching with the numerator. So, before going to find out this one, I told you this must be end somewhere. Where it is ending, you need to know that. Without knowing the ending, you can't say that this problem completely. So, first of all, observe the first one, five into six. First term is five into six. Second term is six into seven. Third term is seven into eight. That means have you identified what is the logic behind it? First term five six four five. Okay, that means gap is four. Second term second term two plus four six into seven. Next third term three plus four. And so on, twentieth term. That means what I am saying. Third term is three plus four starting number. Fifth term means obviously eight nines and nine tens. Nothing but fifth term. Fifth term position plus four. Position plus four. So twentieth term is position twenty plus four, which is one by twenty four into twenty. So What is that? One by five into six plus one by six into seven plus one by seven into eight plus and so on plus one by I need the twentieth term. First term I got position plus four, position plus four, position plus four, 
First term means 1 plus 4. Second term means 2 plus 4. Third term means 3 plus 4. 20th term means 20 plus 4. 24 into. The next number anyhow you know that. The next consecutive integer that is 24 into 20. Go for the applying the method. You can write it as 1 by 5 minus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 7 plus. Can you split it? 1 by 7 minus 1 by 8. And so on plus 1 by 24 minus 1 by 20. As we know that first and last may left and rest of it cancels. 1 LCM you can do our normal multiplication. 25 minus 5 by 5. 25 is 125. 20 by 125. 4 times 25 times. Do the division. So the answer is 0 0.16. You have to choose the option A. Simply I found the last term. Later I have applied the rule. Then we got the answer. Now see the fourth problem. They are asking you to evaluate 1 by 3 plus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 35 plus 1 by 63 plus 1 by 99. We know this is not at all possible by the LCM because these are very big numbers. We can't find out by the LCM. But if you observe that, there is some logic there. So let us see that. What is the first fraction? 1 by 3. 1 by next fraction 1 by 15. Next fraction 1 by 35. Next fraction 1 by 63. And the last fraction is 1 by 19. I observe that first fraction denominator I can write 1 into 3. Or 3 into 1. Plus I can write this as 3 into 5. There is no another way also. 1 by 35. You can guess it. 5 into 7. Plus 1 by 7 into 9. Plus 1 by 9 into 11. Yes. If you observe that it is uh, like a previous one. But these are consecutive odd numbers. 1, 3, 3, 5, 5, 7, 7, 9, 9, 9. Then is the rule work? No. Reason is here 1 and 3 difference between them. It's a 2. But numerator is 1, 1. But with a simple logic we can crack this one in the same way. So, multiply with 2. Divide with 2. Now, the root can be a cable. So, in what way I can write? 1 by 2 into. And now, split it. In what way we can split it? 1 by first number. Minus 1 by second number. Plus, how can you split this one? 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5. Plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7. Can you say, split this one? 1 by 7 minus 1 by 9 minus 1 by 9. All cancels. Only first term and last term left off. 1 by 2 into 1 by 1 minus 1 by 11. 1 by 2. Simplify 11 minus 1 by 11. So it's 1 by 2 into 10 by 11. 1 times 5 times. So answer is 5, 5 by 11. In that way we can fix it. So very simple. Just observe the given denominator. Denominators are consecutive numbers but they are odd number whose difference is 2. But numerator is not 2. I made it as 2. I multiplied with 1 by 2. Then I have simplified the, the previous technique that is A and B are any two numbers. 1 by or maybe difference or maybe difference D by A minus A into B is there. A minus B is the sum of difference D mean 1 by A minus 1 by B. The same technique I have used, we got the answer. Let's move to the next PYQ. Here, we are discussing another topic in the number system, which are is relevant to the PYQs of SSA Tire 1 or RRB, uh, Constable and SA type of examination. 
I have listed the what are the formulas we required for the solving this kind of a sum of the numbers. First one is sum of first n natural numbers formula is n into n plus 1 by 2. Sum of first n squares is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 7. And the sum of the first n cubes is n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4. Sum of the first n odd numbers is n square. Sum of the first even numbers is n into n plus 1. And the arithmetic mean of the first n natural numbers is n plus 1 by 2. Especially this one they were asked in the 2017 SST Tier 1 examination. So, first of all, when we should use these formulas and how these formulas will help you a lot. Here, I want to find out this sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on plus some 100. It may not be possible to us to add it. If you want to find out the answer in a quick manner, so go for the what kind of numbers these are. What kind of numbers these are? These are the natural numbers. Are the beginning numbers are there? Nothing but from the beginning as yes. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on. 100. There are how many natural numbers are there? 100. Then go for the sum of the natural number formula n into n plus 1 by 2 which is 100 into 100 plus 50. Then 50 into 101. You can write it is 5050. Like this you can find it. Maybe you want to find out the sum of 40 plus 41 plus and so on plus 100. Now also these are the natural number. Are these natural numbers starts from the 1? No, these are not first n natural number. Then but end with 100. You can't think that it is a number is a n terms. That is 100 you can't think. Maybe 40 to 100 means it is 61. Can we think 61? No, we should not think. Then what we supposed to do? Here you can use the arithmetic progression formula or same problem, same formula in this way. That is, you need 40 to 100 terms. Nothing but from, from number 40 to 100. So, you need from the number 40 to 100. But I can apply this formula whenever I know that from the starting of natural numbers there only. So 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus and so on plus 100. But in this which numbers you don't require? I don't require from the 1 to 39 because 40 hours I want. 1 to 39 you don't want. So 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus and so on plus 30. Now apply the sum of the n natural numbers that is 100 into 100 plus 1 because here totally 100 natural numbers are there. That to their first 100 natural number. 1 times 50. 50 into 101, 505. Minus how many numbers? 39. So 39 into 39 plus 1 by 2. Minus 39 into 40 by 2. 20, 39, 20 sir, 7, 8. Now subtract it, get the answer. In this way also we can use it. Maybe the same problem, number from 40 to 100 you want to add, but you don't want to use this big way. So what you want to do? Just observe the, what is the first number? What is the first number? 40. What is the, Last number. How many numbers are there? 1 to 100 are there. 40 to 100 are there. Means 1 to 39 were eliminated. So 39 are there. You know, 100, 39 are there means 61 are there. So 61 by 2. 61 by 2 into 1. 4. 1 times 70. 61 seventies. 4 to 70. Here also you get the same. In that way we can solve. Then go for the trick again. 40 plus, 41 plus and so on plus 100. So what I am asking you to do? 
Observe the first number. What is the first number? Observe the last number. And how many numbers are there in it? 61 by 2. 61 by 2 into 140. You can find out the answer. Now I want to find out the sum of the, these numbers. Have you observed what kind of numbers these are? Yes, these are natural numbers. Are these consecutive natural numbers? No. These are the consecutive or natural numbers. What is the sum of the first n consecutive or natural cell? It is n square. So, how many are there? 19. 19 square? No. Ending number may not be a. The number of terms always. Here, this is telling that these numbers are started at 1. That means the first natural number. Another one, first odd natural number. And ending with some 19, which is the last odd natural number. Which means that it is n value is not 19. Then what is n here? n value will be, it's a 19. So, how many odd natural numbers are there from the beginning 1 to 19? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 17, 19, Am I missed anything? Yes, if it is counting like that, can you say that how many terms are there? That means 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, like this 10 numbers are there. So, your value we got it as 10. Maybe if the number is not 19, it's 99. Is it possible to find out by counting in this way? No, it is not possible. Then what can we do so? We have to observe what is the last odd natural number that given. What is that? 99. 99 is the nearest even natural number you have to take. That is 100. In a hundred of natural number, half of numbers are the half of means 99 nearest to 100, 100 by 2, 50. Then 50 are odd as well as 50 are even. In this way we can find out. Now, how many odd natural numbers that present from the 1 to 99 are? They are 50. So, sum of these is n square means 50 square. 5 square, 25, 1 0. You have to write 2 0. Then answer is 2500 is the sum of the odd all natural number from 1 to 99. Maybe if it is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus and so on plus maybe 499. You know that 499 is nearest to which even number? 500. 500 by 2, it is a 250. Then 250 whole square. 25 square, 625, 1 0. Then write two zeros in their square. So 62,500 will be the sum of the odd natural number starts from the 1 to the 499. In that way we can find. Now, if they ask you to find out what is the sum of 2 plus, 4 plus, 6 plus and so on plus maybe 20. We are having already rule that if sum of first n even number C is formula n into n plus 1. So 20 can I take n is 20? No, n is not 20. Then what is n where? I told you already, in the beginning of n numbers, or maybe some hundred number, 50 are even, 50 are odd. So in 20 of the even number, how many are even and how many are odd? So n value is here clearly 10, 20 by 2 is 10, 10 into 10 plus 1. Then 10 into 11 will give you, 110. This is the concept here. And one more important PYQs they are there. Let us discuss those in a brief manner now. Observe the eighth problem. Eighth one is if 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus and so on plus 10 cube is 3025 then the value of 4 plus 32 plus 108 plus and so on, 4000 they have given. 
If you have observed here, see that sum of the cubes formula you you know that n square into n plus one square by four. But you don't require that formula. They have given already. What is the its value is three zero two five. But I should find out this value. Observe that four thirty two and one zero eight and all until the four thousand. It may not be possible. Just think that what is the link that is there for the given hint? All coming in as a multiple suffer. So can I write that four into one plus thirty two as four into eight plus? Can I write one zero eight as four into twenty seven plus? And so on plus four into thousand. I hope you got the logic. Take out four as out as a comma. One plus eight plus twenty seven plus and so on plus thousand. You know very well. One can be written as one cube. Eight can be written as two cube. Twenty seven can be written as three cube. And so on thousand can be written as ten. Two. What is the sum of the first ten cubes? Value they given. They given three zero two five. Clearly, one per thousand hundred will be the the correct answer. So option B is the correct. In that way, we can simply observe the logic and take out the the four, which is the multiple. Then you will get the the required cubes. Sum of the cubes they given already, which is three zero two five. Let's move to the next problem. The sum of all odd numbers from one to thirty-two. How can I find out sum of all odd numbers formula we are having? That is n square. First of all, what are the odd numbers? Take it one plus three plus five plus seven plus and so on plus. I should take until thirty-two. What are odd number? But thirty-two is not an odd number until thirty. Clearly, how many odd numbers are there? In between one and thirty-two, here the nearest even number is thirty-two. Here I told you thirty-two by two, so that is sixteen. Take it as sixteen square, which is two fifty-six. But while we are choosing an option, we are in some hurry, so we will think that sixteen we got. We will think that option D is the correct. No, sixteen square, so two fifty-six is the correct. See the tenth problem. What is the sum of first twelve terms of AP if the first term is minus ninety and the last term is thirty six? I told you already. Whenever they are in the AP, if you know first term like forty in the previous example and the last term like hundred, I told you. First of all, what is the yeah the first and last term? That is first term minus ninety thirty six into I said that half of number of term. How many terms are there? Twelve. So twelve by two. So six into minus nineteen plus thirty six will give you seventeen. Six seventeen is one zero two. This is the correct option. We are having some more problems based on the same squares, cubes, and AP. Let's discuss more examples now. Now we are in the eleventh problem. The value of one into two into four plus two into four into eight plus three into six into twelve plus and so on by one into three into nine plus two into six into eighteen plus. Three into nine into twenty-seven, and so on. Whole power one by three is given. Problem is seems to be very tricky and tough. But let us see that will we get any pattern to find out? First, I am multiplying what is that to get the lead. To force eight plus two into four eight into eight it is a sixty-four plus. Three six it is an eighteen eighteen twelve it is a two sixteen plus and so on all by one into three into nine so I can write it as twenty seven plus two six eight two six twelve twelve eight six twelve eighteen sir two sixteen 
थ्री नाइन ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन सा सेवन ट्वेंटी नाइन होल पावर वन बाई थ्री इवन तो वी डिड नॉट गेट एनी लीड बट वन थिंग वी गॉट इट दे आर ऑलरेडी परफेक्ट क्यूब्स सो इन व्हाट मैनर आई कैन राइट एट एस टू क्यूब फोर क्यूब सिक्स क्यूब एंड सो वन बाई थ्री क्यूब एंड सिक्स क्यूब नाइन क्यूब एंड सो वन होल पर वन यस यू गॉट दी लॉजिक यार व्हाट इज दैट दिस आर आर दी इवन मल इवन क्यूब्स दिस आर द सम ऑफ दी मल्टीपल्स ऑफ थ्री क्यूब्स सो सिंपली आई एम राइटिंग टू क्यूब एज टू क्यूब इनटू वन क्यूब आई एम राइटिंग फोर क्यूब एज टू क्यूब इनटू टू क्यूब बिकॉज़ टू टू फोर देन कैन आई राइट अ Six cube is two cube into three cube. Yes, you can write. Answer. Here as you understood, it is three cube into one cube plus six cube can be written. Three cube into two cube plus nine cube can be written. Three cube into three cube and so on. Whole power one. Right? Take out two cube is out. One cube plus two cube plus three cube plus. And so on by three cube into one cube plus two cube plus three cube, and so on. Whole power one by three. All these sums are getting cancelled. With me now, two cube means eight, three cube means twenty-seven. Whole power one. The perfect cube cube root is we know that it's two by three. The option B is the choice. Here itself we can guess the answer. These are the even numbers, so write two. Nothing but these are multiples of two. These are the multiples of three, so answer is two by three. In that way also we can guess it. Then move to the twelfth problem. Very very important model problem, and as well as one time I have repeated in the Sinex school problem also. The value of root two. Addition. In what way we can do so? 
This is usually a category of a quadratic formula. Without using also, we can guess the answer. Answer is 5. In what way I guess it is? Observe the given number. What is the given number? It's 30. Can you express the 30 as the product of product of two consecutive natural number? First of all, what are the factors of 30? 1 into 30, 2 into 15, 3 into 10 and 5 into 6. Yes, I can express it as the product of two consecutive natural numbers. In that, the smallest value is the given. Still, if you are getting any doubt in what way we can do it, you can solve this problem by using the simple formula of minus 1 plus root over 1 plus 4n by 2. By using this formula also we can do minus 1 plus root over, can you see what is the number here, 30, 1 plus 4 into 30 by 2, minus 1 plus root 121 by 2, you people know that what is the one, root 121 value, that is 11, so it is 10 by 2, which is equal to 5, so these are the two particular ways we can use to find out the, what is the value of the successive, maybe the given instead of 630, maybe the given 6, I told you the number should be expressed as the product of two consecutive natural numbers. How can I express 6 as 2 into 3? So which is the answer 3 or 2? I told you to take the, the first natural number in the given product. So that is 2. Then root over 6 plus root over 6 plus root over 6 and so on. Infinite number of terms is 2. Then we are going for the one more top PYQ in the year 2014 in SSC Tier 1 examination. They were asked 5 root 5 into 5 cube divided by 5 power minus 3 by 2 is equal to 5 power a plus 2 is given. You should find out the A value. First of all observe the given one. 5 root 5 into 5 cube divided by 5 power minus 3 by 2. 5 root 5, you can write 5 into root 5 is I told you 5 power 1 by 2. Power should be 1 by 2. Root 5 into 5 cube divided by 5 power minus 3 by 2. In this which I supposed to do first of all, here we got the 5 power 1 into 5 power 1 by 2 into 5 cube divided by 5 power minus 3 by 2. In this, just consider the division first because in the simplification, then multiplication, we give the preference as first preference we give for the division. Then 5 power 1 into 5 power 1 by 2 into 5 power 3 minus of minus 3 by 2. Because you know a power m by a power n can be written as a power m minus n. So it is in the form of 5 power m. It is in the form of a power m divided with a power m. So I write first power minus of minus with the second power. Now 5 power 1 into 5 power 1 by 2 into 3 minus of minus plus 3 plus 5 power 3 plus 3 by 2. R in the multiplication. We know a power m into a power m can be written as a power m plus n. Plus 3 plus 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2. 5 power 1 plus 3 4. 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 is 4 by 2 which is two, which is equal to 5 power m. When the bases are equal, equal at the power. 6 is equal to a plus 2. Clearly a value is 4. So option A is a correct one. These are the sum PYQs list which you need to focus in the number system for the many competitive examination like SSC and A as well as for the even for the Silex schools also and AP and TSESA and the constable exam. For more educational videos,
videos especially in the competitive examination side as well as MPC. Please subscribe, share, like my channel, SAT e-classes. Thank you for watching.